going to show you some easy DIY projects for the holidays. Hi everybody, I'm Tim. And I'm Brad. And we're, we're the Craft Grooms. Grooms. We've been together for about 12 years and we have a newborn, so when we have any free time, we like to do crafts. We've always been big DIYers. Um, we DIY'd our own wedding to help save money. And we always DIY holiday gifts for our family and friends. This year for the holidays, we're going to show you some easy DIY projects you can do at home for your guests and loved ones. For this project, you only need two items. A nutcracker from your local craft store. And spray paint or stain. Single colors work best. Start by taking your nutcracker out to a well-ventilated area. Put some paper down, spray it with one or two light coats. Make sure to cover all the sides. Let it dry, usually about three to four hours. And there you go, nutcracker fabulous. Then place it somewhere in your home. We put it in the kitchen on the shelf. Look how fabulous he looks. Easy DIY. For this DIY, we're going to take holiday florals and put them in a frame. We'll start by removing the back of the frame, bend up all the prongs, next set the back of the frame to the side, pull all the berries off and leaves off of your florals, and then we're going to snip off all the little plastic nubs so they can lay flat. Go ahead and place your arrangement on the board where you think you might want to place it, whatever you think looks good. Now take pieces off and glue them down. Glue all the way down the stem so that they lay nice and flat, and then replace them so you get them exactly how you laid them out to begin with. You're gonna repeat the process over and over again until you get everything glued down just where you want it. Once you have them all glued down, go ahead and flip the back of the frame back in and secure it down with the prongs or tabs. This next DIY is a little bit more advanced, but you're gonna get some real bang for your buck. Start by cutting out your mistletoe template in paper, which you can find in an online search. Be careful to get all of those curves and angles. Now take your outline and place it onto your felt and using a marker or pen, trace all around it. This will give you a nice clean line on where you're supposed to cut it out. Once you've got that outline, go ahead and cut a small piece of the felt off so it's easier to handle. Once you have a few pieces cut out, go ahead and unwrap your floral wire and cut it to length. You're gonna lay it down the stem all the way down to the leaves. Then trim it at the end, lay it on your felt, and now come back and trim smaller pieces for each of the individual leaves. Using floral wire makes it really easy to bend and flex your mistletoe so you can put it in the shape that you'd like. Now lay a nice bead of hot glue down the mistletoe. Take the wire and carefully press it into the hot glue. Be careful so you don't burn your fingers. You can use another piece of wire to push it down if that helps. Now it's time to put on our second layer of felt. Starting from the top and place the felt lined up over your original mistletoe felt piece. We're going to work our way down from the stem to make sure we get everything nicely adhered. You're gonna repeat this process multiple times, then take your finished sprigs and we're gonna glue them together into a bunch. Place some glue on the stem and overlap the stem of the other piece so you get a nice composition. Here comes the fun part, glue on those pom-poms. You can use white or red. We thought white would really pop for this. Now for a finishing touch, we're gonna to tie a bow around the top of the bunch. Go ahead and tie a knot where you glued the two stems together and then make two loops. Tie those around each other to create a simple bow. You can adjust the size by pulling on the tails, then trim them. Now hang your mistletoe over a doorway in your home Thanks for letting us show you how to put together these great holiday DIYs. Happy holidays from our family to yours. Love, Love Crab Brews.